ski gloves, coat hanger, and a stick. <laughs> Good day everyone and welcome back to another day in the fabulous great outdoors. I'm here uh, in front of the Rackley Roost right now at the treehouse. I'm getting ready to gather some, some of these chickens up and take them to the water. That sounds pretty odd. This is a, this is a weird adventure we're going on here today. So a buddy I recently met that has these uh, chickens who gave me these. Kyle, he lives, he lives on this lake. That's close to me. And it's actually a lot shorter to go to him using my boat rather than driving. And we have a little chicken crisis here. I know the last video I talked about the chickens. I was like, yeah, we got, you know, we got a, a rooster here. Maybe have a couple roosters. Ah, well, it turns out we have all roosters, except for one. So originally we had six chickens. I don't know what the odds of this are. Had six chickens, one of them is a hen, I think. <laughs> I mean, we could have a low playing, a low flying rooster on our hands here. But literally all of these um, uh, ones that I thought might be, potentially could be roosters are roosters and they are all starting to crow. So uh, Kyle was building like a rooster bachelor pad pin uh, to house his roosters and he said he'd be willing to take some of these back and maybe swap them out uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today because they were all going in symphony at like 6 a.m and uh, it, it is loud so parameters to get cut from the rackley roost it's going to be volume <coughs> frequency and I've been monitoring this for about a week now, and I know I know who the loudest, and I know who the most frequent are. So let's take a look. Sitting in number one hole. Number one hole to get cut is, uh, was briefly named Oreo, coming in with some beautiful hackle feathers now. Going to be a really cool big chicken. Uh, Baran and uh, Jersey Giant mix, I do believe. Maybe some other things in there. I don't know. Crazy feathers going on. Um, giant uh, comb, giant waddles. Cool chicken, cool rooster, but uh, really loud. Leads the pack. Really gets the other ones going. Deep throaty uh, crow on that guy. And this has been a tough debate, but. I think we're going to have to go with, uh, oh, I'm not even sure what breed this is, um, Old Foghorn right here. Looks like Old Foghorn Leghorn. I was fond of this chicken. This chicken is the, the most uh, apt to come up to you, like eat out of your hand, do all that fun stuff um, when you have chickens. That is fun, but it has a really loud crow. And it's just pretty aggressive. I've seen it uh, attacking some of the other chickens quite a lot. So I'm trying to go for, you know, docile, having having the kids and all that. So I think it's going to be you, old white and red with the, the giant tail, the red hackles there. You're making the team. And then old, old Penny back there, the brown, the brown chicken, which has now uh, been named Mr. Penny. I just feel sorry for that little naked necker right now. Just, uh, you know, getting attacked by four different roosters, all directions. There's white feathers all over the coop. We need to trim it down a little bit, get some more girls up in here. So we're gonna take the old silver bullet and uh, we're gonna get a little enclosure and take our roosters with us, uh, drop them off, and then we're gonna do a little fishing. Why not? Let the rodeo begin. So I don't have like a cage per se. Um, I do have these tackle toes. All right, hoovinsquad.com. 
new product we've got. I'm going to tote the roosters in the tote. It should be fine. I'm just going to leave the top unzipped so they can have some, some air. Um, you know, with it being dark in there, it should keep them calm. And this is the big one. So I'm hoping it houses this Jersey Giant just fine. It should. But uh, two, two chickens should be good. Here comes the entertaining part. Me trying to catch a chicken. Yeah, I know. You're one of them. You're one of them. chill in there. Let's hope it stays that way. Got two cocks loaded. Head to the lake. First time ever saying that. Last time I made this drive in the car with Stephanie and the kids, it took like an hour. But with the boat, it's only going to take like 30 minutes. I had uh, I left the zipper just completely open so they could breathe but I, I think when I get on the water when we're getting down to the serious silver bullet transport I'm gonna just I'm gonna zip it like three quarters of the way and stuff something in one of the sides so they can still get air but they they just can't get out I, I'm worried like if I get up high speed they sense it they start freaking out pop out of the tote and then they just go flying into the lake, you know, because once those wings hit 40, 50 miles an hour, they're gone. They're they're going wherever the wind's taking them. So anyway, this is a fun little experiment. Glad you guys could join me. Okay, are we loose? Are we good? Birds are looking good. Come here, birds. Make sure they're all good. All good in there. Okay. You guys are doing so great. You guys are doing wonderful. Wonderful things. Okay. Okay, we are floating on the water with my buddies. Little buddies. <laughs> so weird. Y'all are just being calm. Something about something about that dark space. It just, I don't know, does really well. Alright, so uh, Kyle lives on the other side of the lake. He just sent me a text and said he had a giant snake inside of his coop. So I don't know if he still got it, what the situation is there. But he's he's taking care of that. All right, birds are starting to get a little. We're just starting to get a little freaked out here with the the wind. So, still, guys, I'm gonna move you. This is for your own safety. I'm gonna move you down here. Yep. Trust me, it's better in there for you. You good? Yeah, you guys are sitting down. You're doing great. For once in my life, it's not choppy in the spring. This has been the windiest April on record in Texas since like the 60s or the 70s. Something crazy like that. I saw on the, uh, the weather the other day. Let's transport these dudes. This looks like a good spinnerbait bite happening. It's supposed to be really hot this afternoon. We've got overcast wind right now, so it's a good feeding opportunity. I also see 
multiple boats out there in the deeps, giving it that straight angle. That means white bass are moving offshore, baby. Ooh I just got excited. All right, chickens, we're ready to rock. I see a tail feather sticking out. Let's do it. Yeah, baby. We have made it to our final cove here. Uh, let's see how our chickens are doing. They did pretty well. They weren't trying to jump out or anything. Hey, you're on top of one another. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down, calm down. We're fine. Well, one way to tell if your chickens are real stressed out is uh, the color of their their combs, their waddles. They start losing that bright red color. And uh, our, our big black chicken is it's like a lost a little bit of color, but he's fine. Ahoy! Yeah, buddy. It's always an adventure living in the woods, isn't it? <laughs> roosters in your box there. They're in my tote. They did pretty well. I think that the dark color actually keeps them pretty chill. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> you guys going to sleep in there? Wake up. Time to, time to see your old dad. How <laughs> <laughs> uh, was the lake coming across? Dude, it wasn't bad. Yeah. All right, here we are. We're at Kyle's roost here. <laughs> All right, you're returning home. This is like your homecoming party, you guys. So there's like there's like no way to tell on these. The the black one I would have said was maybe like had a chance. This one I was like no way, no way that's a rooster. Hundred percent. Just getting the hackles. Yeah. Getting the. Uh, tail feathers. Welcome Just back, didn't, dummies. Didn't have any tail feathers. There you go. <laughs> All right. Back at it. Oh, right yep. off the bat. Right off the bat. Old buddy's returning. You better, a little different. You better oh, grow up. I know. Thick hackles, though. Oh, buddy. Look at it. Oh, look at that. Sea gloves. Coat hanger. And a stick on a snake mission. How's this going to go? Why don't you come in here and keep some of the chickens back? Steve Irwin and uh, I'm not a biologist I don't exactly know what kind of snake it is but I think it's a rat snake and it, it ate Kyle's eggs it ate a few of his chickens so I don't think it deserves to be here anymore. Look at that red in it dude. The snake has been dispatched and uh, I just had a really good idea once I I saw Kyle holding that snake like all the way out saw how long it was I thought wouldn't it be cool to uh, back one of my bows with a snake skin? You know, some people use uh, rattlesnakes. You can use any kind of snake, but um, it's it's good to have like a, a, a backing on the bow. I've made a few bow videos, and I'm, I'm probably going to do more as I'm just getting more and more into it. I really enjoy doing it. But the snake skin provides a protection for um, cracking, you know, little imperfections things like that and then also has, it provides camouflage snake skins are, are good camo so it goes on the back of the bow it faces away and then uh, just adds that you know extra protection and camo so I think I'm gonna take the snake 
and use it, man. I was gonna try it with the copperhead the other day that I got, but it was just way too small, even though it was a big copperhead. You know, trying to cover a long bow, it's just not enough room. So, crisis averted with the snake, it's gone. Roosters are back, time to give it a day. What an adventure. Chickens seem to be doing well. They've, they've integrated back in to their original squad. They were like fighting at first, but doing well. Snakes removed. And uh, now I'm going to hop in the boat and go check out what the fishing is like out here. But uh, just nothing but excitement here today. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. It smacked me. Got a really good bite, and then I got hung up. There he is. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. This is big, whatever it is. It's a giant. Staying down, so I don't think it's a bass. This could be a huge catfish or something. But it thumped it like it ate it. What are you? Are you an Appaloosa spawning on the rocks? Look at that drag. Smoothly going out. Really want to see what you are. That was the second bite I got up there, so I'm assuming there's definitely stuff feeding on the shad, but this guy's going to want to go back under the boat now. It's real big, whatever it is, hadn't showed itself. I got, uh, I think, 12 pound on here, so I can't really, can't really horse him too much. that reaction rod just getting worked it's either gonna be like a 12 pound bass or big catfish oh my gosh this thing's working me it is huge going out to sea. You can see it. Have I hooked a carp? I just thumped it so good. I'm going to go ahead and get the net out because I have no idea what it is yet. I don't think it's a bass. But... like it's hooked in the back maybe oh my gosh full fighting power oh it's a buffalo I could have sworn that thing thumped it thumped it hard just gonna net you just for a second okay Woof. Good fight all right bangers out That is a mega carp, buffalo carp. Goodbye. Very weird. Very, very strange. Just looking for some white bass right now. I got a head in, I got some painters at my house. Not you catching that carp. Boy, there's a dude that just saw the birds and came right at me. Find them. Scares today. 
comes out here. Well, bam. Hard transition from the water back to the house. I've got a painter here. I had to uh, assist Stephanie with something and I also had to get flowers and all that stuff. Um, don't want to be that guy. Don't want to be that guy that forgot. And while I was in there, ran into, uh, ran into a fishing freak. Shout out to Argyle Fire Department. It's so much quieter here right now with only the three chickens left. And let's not forget the old slithery sausage. I don't want to unroll it too much here. That's it right there. So just flipped it um, inside out, rolled it up, and I'm going to refrigerate it. This is going to dry out, but when I'm ready to use again, I'll rehydrate it. That's an adventure. We'll, that's a bridge we'll cross when the time comes. But for now, I feel like I don't have a, a bow that's really worthy enough to put that on there. We will save it in the frosty cooler. Okay, I'm going to finish my day putting a leather handle on this short little Comanche horse bow that I built. This was originally supposed to be full draw for me. Ended up breaking and now I've kind of adjusted it to uh, it's like a 25 pound uh, little horse bow. Just a little, little fun buddy. The youth size. Um, I've seen some of your comments also about some of you guys have wanted to send me um, uh, primitive heads like arrowheads which I'm I don't know how to do I don't know how to do napping or anything I would love absolutely love to finish some of my arrows that I'm building right now with that I've got another video coming up next uh, or in the next couple videos where I'm uh, finishing some arrows making some arrows out of uh, I haven't even trimmed the feathers yet. It's just turkey wings. So I'm making the fletchings, um, completing some arrows, self-knocked uh, primitive style arrows. I'd love to have some of you guys um, that are capable of doing it, making some primitive points. So I'll have more details on on that on the next video. But right now, let's go. Uh, let's go give the chickens a couple of treats. Hmm, I'll let this open. Just gonna come in here and get some mealworm treats. Yeah, a little mealworm tree action. And you're the lucky ones that have have stayed to be with the coop. Got real aggressive, but we'll see. Here's Mr. Penny. Mr. Penny, you want to come get some? Look at that. There you go. There you go, Mr. Penny. So this one we had a suspicion all along was a rooster. Mr. Penny, we had no idea. Um, I really hope that that's a hen, but we'll see. Yeah, now you guys, the pressure's off. You don't have those other big bullies in here. So here's the big giveaway on the roosters. These saddle feathers that come down, you know, even though this chicken is squatty and looks very hen-like, has a coned tail, if it has those saddle feathers, it will eventually develop into rooster I was just notice they have just really bright long you know more distinct combs and waddles than hens at that age like five or six month old chickens don't really have uh, hens don't really have waddles and um, combs that bright so this is now the flock I'm gonna get you some girlfriends some more girlfriends don't worry it won't just be you I know you would like some girlfriends too all right, I'm gonna hang it up right here for the day in the hammock. Ah. Ooh. Oh, yep, didn't quite get that. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Wife totally saw that. Internet saw it. Ah. I was gonna be cool and just do like this smooth outro in the hammock, like in my day in the hammock. Wabam hip to the ground I'm glad I'm glad you saw that happy Mother's Day Ben's not abused. you're welcome I'm not I'm really not that cool so I'm just gonna say goodbye and thanks for being with me on another great day in the outdoors a crazy adventure I mean my gosh did not expect to come home with a snake skin <sighs> anyway thank you guys for for tagging along and may God bless you in the great outdoors and Godspeed I'll see you on the next one